has been in Law and Order, SVU, Entourage, Sesame Street. He's been uh, in Trainwreck. He's been in the. He's been on the Mindy Project. He also has played basketball. Uh, Amari <laughs> Stoudemire with us on ESPN Radio, and he's been playing in Jerusalem. And I've found his path to be fascinating for a number of different reasons. Six-time All-Star, NBA Rookie of the Year in 2003, and he converted. Uh, so the, he owns part of this Jerusalem basketball club that just won the bat. They just won the championship. So Amari Stoudemire with us now on ESPN Radio, and he's re-signed and re-upped for another year with them. Thank you for joining us, Amari. He negotiated with himself? Yeah, well, we'll find out about some of the details. <laughs> uh, what What has it been like? Uh, what has it been like uh, playing over there? Oh, it's been amazing. You know, uh, you know, Israel's a very, very cool place, man, especially when you go visit Tel Aviv. You're right there on the Mediterranean coast, a lot of great beaches, restaurants, uh, bars, cool place to hang out. The art scene is very cool there, so... Uh, it's been pretty good for me. Can you uh, take us through, Amari? I, we'll talk to you about basketball in a second, but can you take us along the path that ended uh, with you in Jerusalem? Because I know this means something to you. Like this is this is not uh, this is not you just ending your career, you know, playing on a team in China. This, the symbolism of this matters to you. Oh, for sure. I mean, for one, is just the fact that I'm I feel a, a special connection to Jerusalem, uh, being the land of my forefathers. So I always wanted to go back and really just. Uh, spend some time there and get a chance to learn and study. Uh, and on the flip side, I definitely play uh, basketball, you know, a game that I've, I've loved since I was a little boy and being able to still play at a high level um, has always been, been a great situation for me. Can you tell us what happened in your life, though, that led you down this particular path religiously? Yeah, well, my mother, my mother, uh, <clears throat> you know, instilled in us that we are from the children of Israel and we start following the uh, – the laws of Moses, which is the Old Testament. Um, and so from that point on, we knew that we were Israelites, and so we just continued to uh, to grow in that matter. And then when the opportunity came for me to, to play in Israel, uh, it was the perfect fit for me. Have you uh, have you had much culture shock? No, not much. I mean, Jerusalem is a little bit more of a religious town uh, from a Jewish point of view, but Tel Aviv is kind of Americanized. I mean, everyone speaks English there. Uh, the music is great. Uh, they, have, they have top chefs at the restaurants, um, so everything you would, you would you would need here in America, uh, Israel has as well. Well, Amari, what's been the reaction from peers, from friends, from guys you played with? Uh, just reaction to all of this, where you've arrived in your life. Well, I think the thing is, everyone knew uh, about me even when I was in in Phoenix, my rookie year. They knew what I what my religion was, as far as being a follower of the Old and New Testament. And uh, they admired it. You know, they haven't heard <clears throat> heard of it before uh, before me. And now there's a massive awakening happening around the world that people are saying that they're also connected to the ancient tribes of Israel. Um, and so it's been a, it's been a beautiful thing to be at the forefront of of an awakening. Is there any difference between friends, peers, and guys you played with, or are those all the same? You know, I like to say things three times, three different ways, just to kind of solidify the point I'm trying to make and the okay. question I'm trying right. to ask. So were you thinking of different people there, though, friends? <laughs> no, I really peers, wasn't. Like I just, just like to say teammates. things. Yeah, okay, no, yeah. you just I, like I, to say, you like to mic maximize friends, your peers, microphone teammates. time? Yeah, I wanted okay. to get it all in. Anything yeah, else? Just in case Amari Any, didn't anything understand. Else? Buddies, I mean, pals. Yeah. Uh, colleagues. I mean, you colleagues. Know, yeah. uh, what else? Yeah. Pets. What yeah. else? Anything else? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know whether you want to throw anything else in there. Uh, no, I think, no we, uh, I think we identified it all. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. Uh, Amari Stoudemire with us on ESPN Radio. And what uh, what percentage of the team, if I may ask, I don't mean to ask an indelicate question, but like you, this is also a business investment for you? No, it's not. I mean, I actually uh... – <clears throat> I mean, the, the percentage is not important, but it's not really a business decision for me. It's more so uh, of keeping myself in shape. You know, the ultimate goal is, is, is to eventually, uh, whenever a team needs me here in the States for the NBA concern, uh, it gives me an opportunity to somewhat stay in top shape uh, and be prepared whenever the time is needed. And at the same time, it gives me a chance to really uh, uh, continue on the legacy of, of my basketball career. I feel like I'm in top shape. I feel great. My body feels amazing. So I want to take advantage of this, uh, this, this chance for me being able to play at a high level. Is there anybody telling you, hey, Amar, you've done enough. Like, you don't need to do anymore. Like, why get back into the NBA? You've accomplished enough. It's for the love of the game. I mean, I've, I've loved this game since I was, since I was a youngster, man. And then now being 35 years old and still still playing at a high level and still feel great. My body feels uh, how it should feel at the moment. So 
Uh, I feel like if you feel great, then why not play it? You can continue to contribute for a team and for organization, uh, for a city. Uh, why not do it? People, uh, and I'm sure you read some of the things, Amari Stoudemire with a six-time All-Star ESPN Radio, about you bathing in copious amounts of red wine. That's something that people were laughing at because they thought it was a symbol for opulence, the guy making millions of dollars bathing in red wine. But can you explain to us the therapeutic effects that that has actually had for you? Yeah, it's really a therapeutic deal because what happened was a guy got invited to this ancient spa and a part of the spa has an ancient, has a uh, red wine bath uh, attachment to the actual, to the menu, you know. And so I was able to somewhat choose that portion of the bath. And I took a selfie one day and, and you know, and, and, and it became viral. But it's not anything that, that it's not very expensive. Uh, anyone can definitely can do it for sure. Uh, but it does have a little therapeutic meaning behind it. It helps you with your red blood cells. Uh, it relaxes your muscles very well. Um, and so it, it definitely helps. Where did you have the most fun playing basketball, Amari? Was it in Phoenix or was it the year in New York? Where well, the first two or three months of that season, Amari. Yeah. When did you have the most fun playing basketball? Man, I had a lot of fun in Phoenix. I had a lot of fun there with Steve and the guys uh, in the playoff runs that we had uh, there in, in, in Phoenix. But those first four months in New York was something I have never experienced before. I mean, the garden was just rocking every single night yeah. the mvp chants were, were as loud as can be the city was on fire once again the love of new york was back i mean it was it was truly it was truly an amazing experience amari i want to give you my analysis and i defy you even though you have more information than i do to reject my analysis of the situation which is jeremy lynn was going to carry everything into the future heroically and everyone was going to rise to the championship behind jeremy lynn and then carmelo ruined it all everyone has their opinions i'm just jeremy joking lynn, amari i'm, I'm just not. i'm just joking amari that uh, jeremy lynn situation was crazy <laughs> you had to be in the middle of it for 14 it days and be like what the hell is going on around here it was crazy man it was crazy it was crazy. It was unbelievable. I mean, the fans were. I mean, it was. It was like it's like it's like a, like the Beatles were in town, man. Every single night, it was unbelievable. And All right, was riding that wave, you know, for a good 14, 14 games. Linsanity. Well, hold on, but if I come to you ten games into Linsanity and I say, Amari, is this going to continue? You're telling me, right? There will not even be an eleventh game. They're like, we're, this is stopping at 10 games, right? You're not telling me that you expect that to continue. No, no, but the thing is, you know, once a team get a scout report out and start realizing what a player can do, then that's when your teammates get better. You know, you know, when, when attention goes to one player, a smart player would then deviate from himself and get the teammates involved. And then that's how, you, that's how your team becomes a better team when you have a star player who can somewhat take the heat from the opposing team and then pass the ball and get everyone else involved to where now teams have a hard time scouting the entire the entire team. Did you play in that game where he forgot how to dribble because the Miami Heat got mad at him and they didn't like the fact that he was getting all that attention? Did you play in that game? <laughs> I was uh, yeah, I was in that game, man. It was starting to trap him. <laughs> it was pushing him down. It was knocking him over. You know, Floyd Mayweather had comments about Jeremy Lin. I mean, it was it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> they went out of their that, way that, to do it. But that's the scouting too. report yeah. you're speaking of. The Heat just. They just attacked him, and he forgot how to dribble. Amari, thank you for being on with us. Again, uh, you can, if you want more information, AmariStoudemire.com. He does a lot of interesting projects. Uh, Amari, good catching up with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you. Shalom.